Chief's Corner is sponsored by J. Chandler Law. Okay, everybody, I am super excited about this new segment. Of course, wonderful Chief of Police, Travis Griffith, is here with us. He's going to be joining us once a month for Chief's Corner. So excited to have you. Yes, I am blessed to be able to be uh, San Angelo's Chief, and i just uh, so glad to be here, and thank you all for doing this. Yes, of course. So excited. So we are going to talk about kind of a mix of things on yes. this segment, but mm -hmm. today we've got a lot of fun events to get to. Yes, we're excited to uh, come out on October 1st. We're going to have National Line Out. You know, Texas does our National Line Out in October because it's so yeah. dang hot in Texas. <laughs> Is right so it is so we're excited to be able to do that it's gonna be from 5 30 to 7 30. we're gonna have face painting i think asu cheerleaders are gonna be there we're gonna have all of our police vehicles out yeah it's an exciting time to be able to get to meet the police kind of see that we're doing a kind of a big push right now because there's some national trends out there that uh, kind of demonize the police what we're trying to do is humanize the police to yeah. let them know that we're just normal people just like you you can come out and meet us see us and and have some have a good time and uh see some pretty cool uh uh, vehicles and equipment and stuff like that we get to we get to showcase that's amazing yeah it's yeah. for all ages mm -hmm. but um you gotta love the kids when they get oh, excited yes. they they gotta sit in the car they gotta turn on the lights everything we're <laughs> hoping to be able to recruit that next generation too right i mean we're, we are low in staff so we're always looking yeah. for numbers and so that's that's one thing that it is you, know, you get a chance to see the police kind of see what's going on so maybe if you're yeah. 18 19 20 years old Come out and see what we got. There you go. And maybe so for the older crowd that likes coffee, there's an event coming up for that too. Yeah, this is Wednesday. Yes. So this, this is coming Wednesday at Grind Coffee Shop, right? We're going to do that from 8 30 to 10 30. Come in and meet different officers. We'll have detectives there. We'll have uh, our CSI pit folks will be there. Wow. So you can kind of get an idea of what they do, get to talk to them. You know, one on one time, you can't you can't turn that down, right? Exactly. It's kind of like this right here. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. And that's, that's kind of what it's about. You know, you were telling me just um, relating to the public and, and making your yourselves yeah. relatable. Yeah, I think that's where we see uh, one of the parts that we forget in national scheme of law enforcement is that yeah. we we can't police without the public, right? I mean, you can you can occupy and demand things be done, but policing is is truly a a partnership with the, with with the two entities of the public and the police. Yeah. So when you think about that uh, in regards to investigations, and we because we need people to tell us what's going on, we need people to understand that you call us that we're going to come and have that trust there. So. Yeah. We're working to make sure we establish that. I think San Angelo truly will be one of the last great places to police because our people are incredible, and I would stack them up against any in Texas. Uh, so I think, but the more we hold that relationship and be intentional about it, that's where we have success. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. So, of course, you have these events listed somewhere on your Facebook, everywhere. Facebook, yes, ma'am, and, we're, and we're, we're trying to, I think they're also on the city page as well. Okay. Yep, so we, we try to get those out there, and, and you know, we want people to know to come out and, and know that, that they can they can meet some pretty awesome people and meet the people that are out there working when they're sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and of course, you know, this is their chance, like you said, to, to get that one-on-one -on -one time and maybe ask some questions that they may not want to ask in a forum or things like that. Right, right. It's a very uh, personal uh, conversation you have, whether that, that means, you know, how you deal with the, the long shifts, how do you deal with uh, the things we have to see. Right? Mm. So we forget that we're just a, a uniform is what people think, but we're, we're human beings that have to deal with the stressors that, that they have to see. So. Uh, that's the hard part, you know, and then be able to kind of get an understanding of what exactly um, is it like, you know, a real personal view of, of riding around and enforcing the law. Because you, you could go from one minute to a traffic stop to the next scene, you're on a murder scene. Yeah. Uh, and so you, you, you're constantly uh, being thrown different stuff. And sometimes it can be a real slow knot, and then sometimes you're going to be going call to call to call to call yeah. and dealing with every cop report that there is. All kinds so, of stuff. It can change like that. Just like that. Oh, well, fantastic. Travis, we appreciate you coming on. And like we said, this is going to be a once a month thing here on Concho Valley this morning. So uh, I'm sure if you have questions, Travis will, will take them. I'll so. be glad to. <laughs> fantastic. Yes. Well, thanks so much for joining us again. My pleasure.